Hey everybody, this is Joe. Thank you for watching my Giga Texas construction update video. Today I would like to take a detailed look at the construction efforts in the south end and help answer many viewers questions about what is going on, what can we expect, and why are they doing all those changes in the first place. We're going to be referencing the latest Giga Texas site plan. This came out uh, a few months ago. I covered this in detail in my 29th September video, so you can take a look at that. Uh, the information came from the austintexas.gov city site. You can see the links at the bottom of the screen and in the video description as well. Here's a quick top level view about what is going on. There's a pretty elaborate rainwater management system around the main factory site and other areas of the construction as well. Directs the water around the site to the south and distributes it to ponds and then to the Colorado River. They use these very large corrugated steel pipes that are installed underground and these pipes are manufactured on site at the mobile pipe plant. And as you can see with these two images separated by just four months, the dramatic changes that have happened in this south area. So let's discuss about what's going on. So here's a closer look at the south area as it appears today. And the site plan gives us a great indication about what is going on. As you see in the dotted yellow lines, this is what the new water pond will look like in this area when it's completed. And just to give you a visual indication of the changes, the upper left is what the newly shaped pond area will look like. The image on the right shows us what the original temporary water detention pond area looked like, and that is being erased right now. Looking at some more detailed information from the site plan, we can see that the new pond will consist of two main parts, a four bay and a main pool area, and this is the general shape that it will be when it is completed. In addition to the shape that I showed you, there's also going to be a retaining wall that is constructed around the southwest and north sides of the pond, as you see here. And here's some of the detail from the site plan so you can see that uh, shape and how it will be configured. We also noticed on the 29th of October that a new deep pier drill has arrived at this site. And what it appears is that this drill will be making the uh, piers necessary to sustain and uh, support this retaining wall as you see here with the inset uh, site plan diagram. Another major component of the stormwater collection and management system is this pipe splitter box which is being installed right now. It's about 37 feet by 69 feet or 11 by 21 meters and this is how the water would flow. As you can see in the purple areas the water comes in from around the main factory area using those large underground corrugated pipes. Some of the water follows the blue arrow down to the pond four bay that's being constructed right now and that's for collection and management. However, some of it follows this green path and the south outfall headwall area, which is down by the Colorado River for overflow. Flying a bit farther south, down by the south bridge area, we can see the outfall headwall structure as it's being constructed right now, and this is what takes that overflow water and puts it into the Colorado River. As you can see here by the inset site plan diagram, it looks pretty much like what is constructed now. So a natural question is, why are they making all these changes now after all the work they put in? Well, the new site plan explains why, because there's a phase two main factory expansion, and you can see here in the green, that would be about 500 feet or 152 meters. And in this tweet from Elon Musk on the 25th of July, he confirms that the length of the factory will in fact grow about 500 feet over time. As you can see by the inset here from the site plan, the green area is that extension, the orange area is the current roadway that looks like it may actually stay, so perhaps this is more of a separate building connected by walkways or so forth. We'll have to see. You can see in the gray area that new pond area, and then the uh, orange box is that new stormwater splitter. Because this is a site plan, not an architectural plan, we don't really know what the building will look like based on this information. I wish I had more information, but this is all that has been officially released. So that's a pretty quick wrap up of what is going on in the south end, what the site plan tells us, and hopefully this discussion and illustrations helps you understand what we're seeing at the site, what to look for as construction continues, and why are they making all these changes now that uh, the factory is closing in on being uh, completed and production started. So again, I hope that you found this information helpful. Thank you to my patrons for your generous support. Patreon members get access to high-resolution photos, previews, and direct dialogue with me. 
If you would like to support my channel, please consider becoming a patron using this link, which is also in the video description. Please also consider subscribing and hitting the like button. Thanks.